Hello guys, it's the Gaming Gecko, and today we are talking about Seraphine, the newest champion coming to League. I think it's coming on patch 1022, so I it will be like in a few weeks. So that's how she looks. You can see uh, she has some Hextech stuff over here, like speakers and stuff, and she's performing to an audience. She has like a crowd gang here. All right. She looks pretty nice. She looks happy. <laughs> well, not with a joyful smile. <laughs> okay, so let's go over her abilities. Well, passive first, actually. So her passive uh, double casts every third ability. And if she casts an ability on her ally, that ally gets a node. And when she attacks somebody, uh, she consumes all the nodes. So she, she can be played in mid lane or in support, according to, well, I, I would play her in mid lane, uh, personally, but she can be viable in support as well. So let's see how her passive looks. Okay. So you can see the notes over here. Okay, and she double casts. Okay, so th it looks pretty nice. So she used uh, all of her abilities and she double casts this ability, I think. So, okay, let's go over her abilities. Okay, so that's her Q. It's like a Lux E mixed with Nico's Q, I, I'd say. So, uh, she, she's like a Lux mixed with Sona mixed with Nico. <laughs> I think that's that's my personal opinion. Okay, uh, let's see her W. So her W gives everybody a shield, and if it's double casted, it gives everybody a heal. So. I don't think it will be only two champions. It might be three or four, actually, if if everybody's just ganging around her, so everybody's get the shield, uh, or it's only the side ones. Uh, we don't know that yet. Surrounding nearby allies. Okay, so uh, everybody will get a shield. <laughs> if, if if everybody just comes near her, everybody will get a shield or a heal. Depends if she has her passive up. Okay, and that's her E. So she slows everybody, and if it double casts, she snares everybody, just like Lux. Except Lux can snare her without uh, needing to be slowed. So that that's pretty good. Like she has some uh, skill ceiling. Like she can use her Q, W, and E to snare everybody, or she can just like alt. Oh, let's go over her alt first, actually. So her ultimate is like Ahri Charm. Ahu Charm mixed with Sona's ultimate. So she can basically use it and it goes through the whole lane as you can see. She's standing over here. She hit her alley, which is uh, Leona, and it still goes right here. We can't even see where it ends. Now let's see that again. Yeah, it goes like through here. So it's almost at the, uh, at the enemy turret, just from the middle of the lane, not even the middle, a, a bit to her side. So it's pretty OP, like, uh, I wonder if uh, you hit like four alleys that in a straight line, will it go through the whole jungle? That That's the question, eh? <laughs> you know, and if, if it does, then it's a pretty good gank into like, uh, you can go with your jungler and you can like ping your uh, bottom lane to line up and just stun everybody well not stun charm everybody under the tower and if if the jungle is like Jax, uh, he can just jump on and immediately kill everybody and of course you will use your abilities so it she looks pretty nice she, she her abilities are solid so i think like what her combo might be is well if you don't have your ult so you wq and E, when your jungle jungler comes, if you want just to uh, poke nicely, like an, I think, nice damage, so you would use W. I think ev like every combo would start with her W, if you want to uh, engage or something, because you get a, a shield and you give everybody else a shield, and you can use either E or Q. So uh, E would be just a solo lane, uh, poke so you e you slow and then you can hit your q with no problem and it will be a double cast so i don't think it will use any mana so it will be just double cast adults uh, not old q 
and you, you will deal a significant amount of damage, I think. It's a bummer that it doesn't show any damage over here. Okay, let's see... Oh, it's her skin. So she's actually getting a uh, ultimate skin instead of a uh, regular 370, uh, 350 skin, 1350. Uh, the because Riot wants to make it like a part of an event similar to what we had in Spirit Blossom. So her skin will, will basically be a level skin that you have to level up basically. So you can see like these are the three stages of her skin. So first stage is the one that we had in Twitter uh, teased a while ago. And she, she's like a beginning artist, she's just ma making music in her house, posting on Twitter and stuff like that. Then uh, her second form, or second stage, whatever you want to call it, uh, will be uh, when she performs to live audience and has a fan base and people go to her concerts, but she's like performing on her own. And the third stage uh, would be when she's performing with KDA on a concert for millions of people and she has millions of fans. You know, she's just a huge pop star. Uh, so that's like the skin progression. So how, how you progress with this skin is once you buy it, get a quest line specifically for this skin and you have to complete three quests with, I think it will be... Uh, associated with the skin, maybe hit a few walls or uh, heals that many allies or something like that, you know. I, I, I don't really know it yet. We might know it when, once it releases on PBE. So she, she uh, just uh, beginning, you complete three quests and then you unlock her second form and you complete two more quests and you unlock her third form. So that's how you progress. Okay, so that's our player model. You can see she had like a nice hair. It looks like Zoe from the bag, doesn't she? Except with the high heels. <laughs> so you can see these acoustic guitar thingies that she has in the beginning. Then in her second form, she's performing for like her audience and she has a, like a speaker over here that she plays music with and stuff like that. And her third form is when she doesn't even need a speaker because the whole like uh, arena has a skin, <laughs> not a skin, a speaker, uh, <laughs> and it performs for her. Well, not performs, just makes a sound for her. She doesn't need to have it on her platform. Okay, and <laughs> that's the same picture. Doesn't look like it. She's from the same side, just tilted slightly. Okay, and with the skin you also get like icons and uh, emote, so that's very nice. So you get this, it's like a, her beginning form and this is her middle form I think? Maybe with the crystals, no she doesn't have much crystals, crystals earrings. Okay, let's see if she does have crystal earrings, no she doesn't, so that's her third form. Okay, oh, so that's her second form I think, yeah with the, with this hair flick over here yeah so you get two icons and one emote with the border so the border i don't think it will evolve with the with the skin itself so i think it will always be like this kda theme which is kind of a bummer i i would like it to evolve with the skin like if, if you pick this skin it would have like guitar strings like it does over here and if you pick this one, it would have speakers and flowers and stuff like crystals, because you always will have these crystals. So that's about it about Seraphine, and I'll see you guys later.